Hey guys, Charles Shark Reviews here, and today we're going to be doing yet another news video. Now, uh, for today's news, it's not quite as big as the last news I did, but um, there's still quite a bit of news that have come out since then. So, yeah, so anyways, uh, yeah, let's get right into the news right now. So starting off, um, yeah, in that time since you know, I made the last news video about a week ago, there were some leaks and stuff. <laughs> One is an official reveal, but we'll get to that well at the end of this video. So yeah, so the Saturday after I made that video, there were in-package leaks of two, not one but two Rise of the Beast mainline Voyager figures, and those are Rhinox and Optimus Prime. So let's start off by taking a look at Rhinox right here, and well, obviously here is in the packaging, but they're like different ones or something, like they're like. This is this is at the person's house or whatever. I'm not sure if it's the same person as you know who took those photos in the store, but nonetheless, here's Renox and his packaging. I really I do like the really do like the packaging for the Rise of the Beast toys, but yeah, anyways, this is Renox. Now this should not be confused with Studio Series. Now you know before people were like, oh man, why is he like paint? Why is not yeah, it's like this this is only the mainline stuff. Usually the mainline stuff ain't as accurate to the movie. And, I mean, with this movie, though, it's mainly on purpose, because in the Bumblebee movie, there was no real, like, Voyagers or Deluxes or anything. It was just kid toys and stuff. It's just the gimmicky stuff. Um, but in the first five movies, there were, or especially since Age of Extinction, so basically Age of Extinction, the last day now, Rise of the Beast, there were, there's the main line, and then there's the kid, the kids line. Or is more like this is for the more for the you know older collectors and then there's like the like the one step changers and stuff like that and those like figures and then in like the Bumblebee movie there's the whole like nitro gimmick or something or, or no no Aragonites that's it so yeah but um but anyway so let's get right back into Rhinox so yeah here he is and uh yeah and this is not the studio series one there'll be if they, once they make a Studio Series one, it'll most likely look a lot better than this one. But yeah, so there's the side artwork, the other side, and here he is all opened up. And he is, you can see he doesn't have a lot of paint going on. Now, we haven't seen the full Rhinox robot mode yet, at least in the movie. I mean, we see here this toy, but we don't have, you know, any toy model to compare it to. But man, does he lack paint. <laughs> but, you know, but it's all right. I mean, this is just the main line. Uh... Yeah, I mean, he doesn't like as much paint, like, I mean, from the side, it doesn't look as bare bones, but, yeah, uh, there's head sculpt, looks very Rhinox-y, <laughs> and, um, yeah, I, I'm glad he comes with his signature weapons, because that's cool, too, and then there is with the Kingdom Rhinox, and then here is in his alt mode, this looks really cool, here you get a bit more paint details, and, yeah, so that is, th I think it, oh, wait, there's also, oh, here it is Roaring. And here's the instructions. Let's take a look at those. And, yeah, that's pretty much it for Rhinox. Now for Optimus Prime. Let's go right over here. Now, Optimus Prime, he looks cool too, but he's uh, he's also lacking a bit of paint. But, yeah. But anyway, so here he is. And, yeah, overall he does look pretty good. Um, but as you can tell, he's got a lot of gray going on, like, the alt mode looks pretty good, and oh, here is with Earthrise, Optimus Prime's trailer, and there he is doing that, uh, Iron Man pose, Yeah, I'm not, I'm not sure, I'm not sure why so many people like putting him in that pose, but okay, looks cool nonetheless, here's his packaging, and yeah, this is probably the worst looking part of the figure, it's the back here with the legs, and they're all grayed out in the back, it's like, ugh, but, um, yeah. And then here he is with, uh, well, on the left, you got the Studio Series Bumblebee Movie Optimus Prime, well, the premium finished one. And then on the right, you got a customized Earthrise Optimus Prime. And as you can see, this guy is actually kind of short. And he's he's supposed to be a Voyager along with Rhinox. But, you know, he's he's like a, about shoulder length with these two. So, yeah, uh, I, I hope this doesn't mean that the Voyagers are going to get smaller. But, again, but um, Because they're a decent height where they are now, so... At this point, he almost looks like a deluxe. <laughs> Not quite, but, you know. We'll have to see, but, uh, yeah, that is pretty much it for 
Prime right here. So yeah, so those are both Voyagers. Um, yeah, they, they they look okay, but I think the Studio Series ones will definitely look a lot better. Watch the note, but <laughs> I can I can almost guarantee it that they'll look a lot better. I, that's kind of the whole purpose here. So yeah. Next up, here we have Studio Series eighty six Lear Class Snarl. So yeah, this one uh. This is like a few days, well, this is February, so, okay, so this is two days ago. Yeah, this one was quite unexpected, like, you know, there were some listings, but not, you know, many people are speculating about this guy, and here he is out of nowhere, and a uh, certain YouTuber, you know, I'll just say right here, Chef Atron, he got a hold of him, uh, yep, another figure he got, <laughs> but, um, yeah, so, here he is, uh, Snarbo, let, let, let's get all the early review stuff out of the way here, and let's just focus on Snarbo himself, so. Yeah, here he is in his roll mode, and he looks really nice. Like, they really put a lot of paint, especially on the legs and a bit on the chest. <laughs> but, you know, the gold does look pretty nice, as usual. And then here he is with the other three. And, yeah, this is uh, definitely uh, a must-need since, you know, I do have the... Well, I don't have Snarl, of course, but I do have, you know, Grimlock, Slug, Slush, Slag, and Sludge. And, yeah, they're they're all pretty good. So... Definitely can't wait to get Snarl here, and uh, here he is in his alt mode, and here he looks pretty good too. The only complaint I have is that the legs and, well, also the feet, but also the head, they're not painted gold, and then you got the, you know, the spikes at the top, and they are painted gold, and if you think, oh, okay, that, that's not bothersome, but look at, well, I mean, Grimlock doesn't have a uh, gold head, but his neck is gold, but then, of course, you got Sludge, and slug right here slag and you know their, their heads are painted gold but then snarls isn't it's it's not horrible it's just a little odd you know consistency wise i don't know but you know at least he does have some gold on him but and of course the tail is painted gold too and yeah uh just make sure that's it <laughs> oh yeah, yeah here's a whole view <laughs> of course the He's got like a big, sl it's like slopes up and then goes down like boom, <laughs> right there. Yeah, look, look at that. It's, it's a little odd, but you know, I'll, I'll take it. it. This this definitely does look miles and miles better than the Power of the Primes one. And here they all are in their dino mode. Still though, at the end of the day, these all look great. But yeah, so that's, that's Snar right there. Can't, can't wait to get a hold of him. And now we just need to see Swoop. So yeah. And finally, one more piece of news that came out the same day as that Snarl news. And this is actually official, the only official one here. And so, um, but before I get into that, yeah, there was some live stream or something with the Transformers brand team. And uh, so, yeah, they, they were there, they are talking about stuff, they, you know, answered questions. But what's, uh, yeah, so they, they did that. But then at the end, they showed off a reveal of a Buzzworthy Bumblebee Origin Jazz. So, yeah, this is uh, quite expected because there was no... I don't think there was any listings for this guy. But, hey, he, he looks really nice. Here he is in his robot mode. And pretty cool. I wonder if... Is that, is that the same head sculpt as the Kingdom one? Or not Kingdom one. <laughs> Studio Series A6. It's because uh, it looks pretty similar. I mean, it might be, but yeah. But besides that, everything else is new. And yeah, and while that figure looked pretty nice, this guy looks nice too. I think he this one's a bit more proportionate, especially where the chest is, because you know they can get away with a little bit more here. You know, they have the Earth mode chest, but that's what they did in the Juma cartoon. And then here he is in his alt mode, of course, the Cybertron car. This, even though I I don't, I mean this I can actually figure out what this is. Like most Cybertron vehicles, I I don't know what they are, but this I do. It's it's basically just the Cybertron version of his Porsche that. He turns you in the cartoon on Earth. And here he is in his packaging. You know, we're not about jazz. So at this point, yeah, B Buzzworthy Bumblebee is no longer about Bumblebee, really. I mean, you'll still get figures of him, but yeah, it seems like we're just going to get, like, tons of exclusives here. And yes, because this is Buzzworthy Bumblebee, it is a Target exclusive. And of course, here we got Mark Meyer, the designer. Cool guy. And yeah, oh, they, they, I don't think they show this off. Here is, uh, he's holding a crossbow like gun or something. Uh, they, they didn't show off in that image, so that's quite interesting. Yeah, this is a, a definite pickup right here, because I do have Origin Bumblebee, so it, it's cool to get more of these Origin figures. 
I don't know if they show off Jazz transforming into the Cybertron alt mode though on the show, because you know that was pretty brief, a pretty brief scene there. Um, yeah, so the next one we do need though is Wheeljack, because you know I, don't, I think the only two Autobots we saw transform into their alt modes on Cybertron were Bumblebee and Wheeljack, and we already got Bumblebee, so we just need Wheeljack. But Jazz though was a nice surprise. He he was done pretty well. So yeah, so that's pretty much it for today's news. So yeah, now. Anyways, guys, make sure you guys like, subscribe, comment, share for more, and comment down below what you guys think of all this news. So, yeah, but anyways, guys, as always, till all are one.